Are you ready to invite more happiness into your life? Stay tuned because today I am sharing three tips to finding happiness in your life. Welcome to episode four of season one of the Empowered You series, where we share tips to help you become the boss of your life. I help lady bosses tame their inner critic, reconnect to who they really are, and find peace in the chaos. You might call me the peace teacher. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when a new video is dropped. Alright, let's get started. Happiness is a state of well-being, of living a life with meaning and purpose. There are plenty of opportunities in our life to find and discover and to be happy. But we first have to choose it. So here are my three tips to finding more happiness in your life. Tip number one, choose happiness. Every day we have the opportunity to choose how we want to show up in this world how we want to be in this world. So why not choose happiness? Yeah, I know, yesterday may not have been so great. It didn't quite work out as you wanted. Maybe you heard something or saw something that oh, just frustrated you. But today is not yesterday. Today is a new day. And we have the opportunity to say, hey, yesterday might not have been so great, but today is a blank canvas and I want to choose how I show up today. So why not choose happiness? Tip number two, remove the kinks. I remember when I was a young girl and watering the grass with my grandfather. He used to have me hold the water hose and spray the lawn and the flowers. And then when he wanted the water to stop, he would make me fold it on itself so that the water would just barely trickle out while we moved to a new location. This is what happens with our own happiness. We have kinks that are in our way that stop the water or happiness from flowing. About 10 years ago, I was in this spot. I didn't have very much water flowing when it came to my happiness. I was in a state of depression, and it lasted for a few years. Part of that came from me looking for happiness to come externally. I was thinking in my head, if I just lost weight, if I could just get that position that I wanted in my company, or if I just moved to a better location, then I would be happy. These were my kinks. These were the things that I thought I needed to have in order to be happy. When we can identify what our kinks are, we can then start to remove them one by one. That's going to allow us to open up our energy and allow more happiness to come flowing out. So what might your kinks be? What might be stopping you from finding more happiness? Tip number three, become optimistic. <laughs> now, you might be thinking, oh, that's an innate, that's what people are born with. Some people are just optimistic. And yes, my mother is definitely one of them. She taught me to always look at the better side of things, to always look for the good in everyone. And that definitely has served me well. But it also can have its drawbacks. So that's not exactly what I'm talking about here. When I'm talking about becoming optimistic, I'm talking about having something to look forward to. This might be a goal you're currently reaching. This might be a bigger mission that you have or your purpose for living or for why you're here on this beautiful earth. Whatever that is for you, you want to have something that you're looking forward to. When you have something that you're looking forward to, your energy shifts. You start to take more action. You have this motivation, right? This, this shift in everything that you're doing. I know when I plan my month out and I look at my goals, if they don't excite me, I can tell you they're probably not going to happen or I'm going to fall short of reaching them. 
I'm going to lose the energy. When my goals excite me, watch out because there's nothing that can stop me. There's this energy that starts flowing through me that excites me, that makes me want to jump out of bed every morning and work towards what it is that I'm doing. When I have that type of energy, when I have something to look forward to, that water is flowing freely and happiness is everywhere. So let's recap. Tip number one, choose happiness. Tip number two, find those kinks and remove them. And tip number three, become optimistic. Have something to look forward to. If you've enjoyed this conversation, be sure to come on over and continue it with us in the Empowered You community over on Facebook. We are there talking about becoming the boss of your life as you step into the driver's seat. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure and let me know by giving me a thumbs up and putting a comment down below and letting me know what are you taking away from today's video? What has changed for you and how you're going to find more happiness in your life? And as always, remember to be you and to be amazing. Bye.